Fan talking fires for some pregame before the Padres have their series finale against the Miami Marlins. Uh, they're looking to win the series, take three out of four after losing yesterday on what was a very, very long day uh, for Jace Tingler, Skip Schumacher, who got ejected, Tommy Pham, who got ejected. Uh, home plate umpire Doug Eddings was absolutely atrocious behind the plate. He did not know what a strike was. He didn't know the difference between a strike and a ball. And 15 of the 17 strikes that were not supposed to be strikes went against the Padres. So it was very lopsided. Mark Grant definitely expressed his frustration on the broadcast and definitely deservedly so towards Eddings, who should, frankly, issue an apology. We'll get to that um, on the podcast later today after the series finale. You Darvish takes the mound for the Padres. This is big. Uh, you know, in Atlanta in his last start, the big, you know, takeaway was that he was healthy. That's all we wanted because, you know, he had that hip inflammation going into the All-Star break. And now that he's healthy... Now let's see if he can give the Padres some length um, after having to use some bullpen arms yesterday uh, because Ryan Weathers is coming off the IL. They didn't want to take him, you know, too deep into the game in his first start. Uh, so if he can give the Padres some length going into the off day, which is definitely well needed, um, that, that'll be huge for the Padres. Um, Melanson should be available coming off a day's rest after, start, after pitching in three straight games. Um, again, day off tomorrow uh, before they head back home uh, to Petco Park finally. It feels like it's been a month since they played at Petco, but that's the scenario today. John Curtis, the opener for Miami. Will Myers not in the lineup, probably just another rest day. Jerks and Profar in right field for him. 10-10 a.m. first pitch.